Hi everybody, I'm Torin from the Ozone Design Team. I've got the four sizes of Wasp Wing pumped up here today and we're going to run through the key points of difference between them and what we think you should consider when selecting your size or sizes of choice. This information is a general reference and is highly dependent on rider skills and the board setup, in particular the hydrofoil setup if you are foiling. Hydrofoil wing size can play a massive role in performance, so it's important to understand that as well, but today we will focus on the WASP sizes. So we'll start with a 3 metre. It's a fun size, nice little compact wing. It's great for smaller, lighter weight riders, weighing around 60 to 65 kilos or less, or as a smaller size in a quiver for most other riders if you're looking at using it in stronger winds. It's a good option for your skateboard or mountain board due to the shorter span, which is the width of the wing, and the shorter cord, which is the depth of the wing. It's more compact, but as with all of the wings, you still need to be careful not to drag it around on the ground. It has one less handle on the strut than the 4 meter due to the cord length. The 4 meter is a great all-rounder if you are choosing one size and weigh around 70 to 80 kilos. It has good grunt to get you moving, and is compact enough during tacks and jibes or when riding waves. It's a fun size and 20 knots for jumping as well. On the low end, we have been riding the 4 meter in around 10 knots with larger size hydrofoil front wings. Next up, we have the 5 meter. And just a quick note, this 5 and 6 meter here are prototypes. The production models will have graphics as with the 3 and the 4. The 5 meter is another great all-rounder if choosing one size for a rider weight of about 90 kilos or more, if you're using it in decent wind strengths of about 15 knots plus. It's big enough for most other riders looking at their large size wasp wing for a quiver. It's easy enough to handle and has great low end grunt. It has one more handle on the strut than the 4 meter due to the longer cord. It has a good size leading edge and strut, which makes it efficient in light winds to pump the wing to generate speed. And now the 6 meter. This is our biggest size wasp. It's designed for light winds or for heavier riders as their larger size choice. It's more wing to handle, but it's still a fun wing and you can do everything with it, jumping, riding waves, but due to its dimensions, the, the wingtips, they're a bit closer to the water or the surface of the ground if you're on the land or snow. So you do need to pay extra attention to not catch the water or rub it on the ground. In stronger offshore winds when you're riding waves, you may feel some extra drag from the high volume leading edge, mainly when riding the wave or the swell directly into the wind. The 5 meter would probably be more suitable size choice for this. The 6 meter also has one more handle on the strut than the 4 meter due to the cord length. It has an even higher volume leading edge to keep it nice and rigid. This makes pumping efficiency very good. We've been foiling in around 5 knots with large hydrofoil front wings with the 6 meter. So it has amazing low end abilities. However, if you are 90 kilos or above and mainly ride in 15 knots or more, the 5 meter could be a better option as in winds of 20 knots plus, the 6 meter is a lot of wing to handle. At flat water spots with light breezes, the 6 meter will be a lot of fun. You will be out on the water first and you'll be foiling with the light wind hydrofoil setup. If you are mostly riding in large chop or waves, the 5 meter, due to its shorter wingspan, will be more suitable for most riders. One last thing that we will speak about are the handle positions on the Wasp. We have multiple power handles. There's one up here on the front at the leading edge and four to six along the strut depending on the size. We also have the Y handles connecting to the leading edge and strut. In most cases, you will use the first strut handle and your front hand and one of the last two handles on the strut for your backhand. But you can shift around to find what is comfortable for you and depending on the wind strength. The Y handles are very handy to use during manoeuvres, tacking and jibing and can also be used to give the wing a slight twist upwards which can stabilise it when the wind is gusty. If you are overpowered or the wind is gusty, making it a little difficult to control, try your front hand on the first power handle on the leading edge. This moves the leverage point of the wing. When depowering, there is less wing in front of your front hand. This stops the wing from catching wind on the top side if you depower too much, which can make it a little difficult to control. The depower handle at the front of the leading edge is used to completely depower the wing for control when riding waves or swells downwind. Also to carry the wing and holding it while getting up onto your board. 
We hope this information helps you out. As always, the best way is to try a wasp yourself to get a feeling of it with your particular setup, whether you are on the snow, land or the water. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you out there.